Since April, some lucky people in the metro have been able to see one pretty tall man riding a very tall bike. His name is Layton, and if you stopped and stared as he rides by, that was the point. For a machine that makes its rider be so deliberate. You like it? Thank you. Layton's penny farthing bike is best at making people who see it lose themselves for a second. The reactions are priceless. Uh, just right over there, uh, I was coming this way and I got the OMG look on the face from somebody driving. He bought it after he saw someone else on a massive unicycle. This modern version of a bike popular in the late 1800s, Layton says, is easier to ride, but not by much. Historically accurate wheels forced him to find an Amish buggy repairman when a pothole busted his back tire. Is it ridiculous? 100%. I've been accused of being an eccentric to a point, and they're not wrong. But Layton moved to the metro after growing up on a farm in far western Kansas. After years of isolation in one way or another, the point is to be seen, even by the naysayers. I get the old fist or darn hipsters. I heard that one once. So when you see Layton riding around high above, see ya, he wants you to say hi. He'll yell back if he hears you, and even if not, you're part of the growing community of people who had to look twice at the guy on the crazy bike. Yay! Thank you! Yeah, no problem. So, fun. so good to meet you all. So nice to meet you. It's all right to do something a little silly, and uh, we should indulge ourselves once in a while. You know, I'm the only one in danger up here. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy the show. Layton says he rode motorcycles and horses before getting that penny farthing bike. Use videos online to figure out how to get on and off of it.